Today we finish our list of Hamilton County Parks courses and we find out why this course went through a rebranding. Welcome back to Subpar Golf Reviews. Hello, gang. We are back, and this uh, feels kind of like a, a healthy conclusion of something. I would say it does, for sure. We are wrapping up our first official grouping mm -hmm. of courses today. As I mentioned in the intro, this is the last of the Hamilton County Parks golf courses that we're going to review. And we finished it off nicely with beautiful weather, a great sunny day. It wasn't very hot little overcast for a while. It was a lovely day. It was so much nicer than the weather has been recently. And we're on kind of a roll. The last couple of reviews, we had a, uh, a report on the weather. I think even though today was a beautiful day, maybe we should continue that trend and go ha have an official report on how the, how the day I, was. I think you're right. Let's do it. All right. It's the best. Okay, it was a gorgeous day out today. Beautiful. We had a great time. And in case uh, you haven't figured it out by now, we are at The Mill, the golf course formerly known as Winton Woods Golf Course. Very old course. This golf course was built in 1951 mm -hmm. and then went through a major renovation in 1993. They built new clubhouse, new banquet center. They redesigned several of the holes. They added a lot of water to the golf course probably mm -hmm. a very different experience. Uh, Javon and I didn't have the opportunity to play it prior to that 93 renovation, but based on the amount of money they spent and the work they did, I'm guessing it's a pretty different experience. And it was a lot of fun today. Of course, everything was a dog leg. It was exciting. <laughs> Lots of elevation changes. We got more dog legs here than at the kennel. Yeah. <laughs> Every hole's a dog leg. Yeah. We got all the dog legs. Yeah, we had them all. Uh, being built in the early 50s, it's, it's what you would expect. This course tips out at about 6,300 yards. So yeah. it's one of the shorter courses we've played. Now, it isn't quite as old as Avon Fields. No. And it certainly isn't as short as Avon. It still had that old feeling about it though. It did. I, I didn't see a lot of the uh, back and forth that we've seen on some of the other older no. courses. This course actually seems a little bit more spread out for a course that was built in 51. Beautiful swath of land that it's built on. Oh yeah, this is another, that's another cool thing that I, I've seen on several of these uh, Cincinnati area courses. The, uh, the terrain is fantastic. We had a ton of mm. great variation in grade today. Yeah. Lots of elevated tees. Uh, lots of uphill, downhill, lots of interesting lies. Doesn't this course have something in common when it comes to the builder of this course or the designer? Well, something else once again, doing our research on architects and one Dr. Michael Herdzen came up again. Again. This guy's like the father of Cincinnati golf. <laughs> now, I'm assuming that uh, the good doctor didn't design the course in 51 unless he did it when he was like a toddler. Well, yeah. That's I don't know true. how old he is. Maybe but, the redesign. Uh, I'm guessing the redesign in 93 has his, his fingerprints on it. And, uh, you know, like the other Hamilton County courses we've played, we started with Miami Whitewater Forest. Mm -hmm. I always have to stop and think about that one. Uh, and then we moved on and played Sharon Woods. Mm -hmm. And then we played The Vineyard. And today right. we're wrapping it up with uh, The Mill, formerly Winton Woods. Now, there are two other uh, short courses that uh, Hamilton County owns. We're not gonna review nine hole or executive or practice right. courses. We just, you know, ain't nobody got time for that. Right. We got too many golf courses to review. <laughs> so we decided when we started that we wouldn't do nine hole courses, but they do have uh, two nine hole practice facilities. One is uh, Little Miami and mm -hmm. the other is Meadow Links. And I think Meadow Links is actually here in Winton Woods as well. Is it really? I've never been. Uh, if you have, if you have any experience with those nine hole or practice facilities, you know, feel free to comment in the uh, comment section and let the other folks know what you thought of them and if it's uh, worth heading down to play those practice courses. Didn't you dig up a bit of information about the history of the mill name and why it was named a mill? I did. Course? We were curious to yeah. know when they did the uh, big uh, renovation, why they did a rebrand and why they changed the name because uh, this, this area of town is Winton Woods and it was Winton Woods Golf Course, which seemed like a natural name, Right. but they changed it to the mill and we were curious to know why 
and we found the answer. We asked uh, one of the starters, who was a super nice fella, mm -hmm. uh, and he said, hey, you know, head inside and there's some cool historical information. And sure enough, yeah. there was a uh, nice explanation on why they named it what they named it. Apparently back in the 1820s, uh, here in Winton Woods, there was a sawmill. And at some point later in the 1800s, I believe it was 1890, they converted that to a flour mill. So this concept of the mill is kind of a uh, running thread through the history of Winton Woods. So it actually is kind of a cool name. It is. It. And they've got some old artifacts inside too, which are pretty they cool. They do. They've got a model of uh, a uh, mill yeah. that you can take a look at. Um, you, I don't know if you can see the uh, water wheel behind us here, but uh, as part of the clubhouse renovation, it, it kind of looks like a mill on the it outside does. here. It's, it's kind of a cool really place. Really cool. Uh, and like some of the other courses we've played recently, there is a banquet area here mm -hmm. at, uh, at the golf course. Um, don't have a ton of information on it. I'm sure that the Hamilton County Parks website, you can get all the, all the scoop and all the details on how to rent the space out. Um, you can sure. also come down and check it out yourself and see. Looks like a pretty nice space. It does. Not it quite does. as luxurious or as big as uh, our friends at Blue Ash, but n not much is. That place is unbelievable. <laughs> so, but if you're uh, near the Winton Woods area and you're looking for a banquet area, you know, come down know. to the mill and check it out. You might like it. It might, might fit your needs pretty nicely. Um, let's talk about some of the other amenities here at the clubhouse. They've got a pretty well-stocked pro shop. They do. Lots of merchandise, apparel, golf balls. Very helpful staff. I was very unhappy to see so much uh, Cincinnati Bengals memorabilia. Who day. day, every day. But as a Steelers fan living near Cincinnati, I just have to tolerate this stuff, I guess. Take your medicine, brother. I'm taking my medicine. Um, the folks in the pro shop were great, got us checked in. What did we pay today to play on a Friday? 45 bucks on a Friday afternoon. $45 on a Friday afternoon, that's pretty Reasonable. good value. Yeah. Pretty good value. Uh, they also have a pretty large, uh, I, I'm reluctant to call it a restaurant, it's more like a yeah. snack shop. Yeah. You've uh, got some the, burgers and some bratwurst. And the bratwurst were <laughs> we uh, coming down on Friday, we get here around lunchtime, so we're always very happy to see that they have some bratwurst grilled up for us. Yeah, we always start with the bratwurst. Hopefully, uh, we gen get to Gentlemen start. in the snack shop, super nice. Mm -hmm. uh, we changed our mind quite a few times on what we were going to order, but we managed, he managed, and he was friendly throughout. He was very helpful. <laughs> what do you think about the, uh, the conditions of the course? I thought the course was in great shape. Uh, the other Hamilton County courses are actually good comps for this course. Mm. Um, I think Sharon Woods and the Vineyard are both a little bit nicer and obviously much longer. Um, yeah, I'll agree with that too. I would say that in terms of, uh, you know, the way the fairways and the greens are maintained, I believe these are both bent, just yeah. like we had at uh, Blue Ash last time. Um, the way that they're kept is probably most like uh, Miami Whitewater Forest. Um, it's good. It's yeah. in good condition, yeah. But it's you know it's like that one municipal step down from the elite courses in the area. I'll agree with that. Um, yeah, it was well kept. Uh, it was in good condition. The greens were all in really good. They shape. They were really good. The signage was spectacular. Oh, the signage was great. Yeah. And we we neglected to mention this at a couple other courses. Um, this course has some twists and turns as you go from hole to hole. And we noticed right off the bat, there's some great wayfaring signage. It tells you exactly which way to go for which hole. And that's that important. super helpful. Yeah. Especially like this, where this was our first time playing the course. Sure. So uh, yeah, it was very helpful. And they've, all, they've got the, uh, the good tee markers as well that have a picture of the hole and the tee number and all that good stuff. Lots of fun. I like the fact that here lately, we've been on a run of courses that have decent sand traps. Yeah, the sand here was good. I was uh, in one early and it's, uh, it's very fluffy sand. I was mm -hmm. actually not quite prepared for it and uh, played really, really well. The, uh, and maybe it's a time of the year where they've got maybe. those bugs in the bunkers, the, oh. the bunker murder, the murder hornets. hornets. <laughs> yeah. I, don't think, I don't think they're really murder hornets, but whatever, That's a good name for whatever these kind of flies are that like nesting in that sand, you see that at lots of golf courses. Yeah. So it's not, something about, uh, it's not something about the mill. I just think it's that time of summer. But uh, the condition of the bunkers was great. I didn't mm -hmm. see any rock the couple times I was in bunkers. No. Sand was really even. Uh, it was a nice fluffy sand. It was it was really good to play out of, actually. It looks almost new. I wonder if they redid the traps here. We should have asked that. I don't know, but if it was in back in 93, they're still in great shape. Yeah. Um, the greens were not the fastest greens we've played, but they no, did but roll they were in good very shape. consistently. Yeah. They were in really good condition. Mm -hmm. uh, the folks who come out here are taking good care to uh, fix their ball marks yeah. and not trudge up the greens. They were all generally in good shape. Uh, tee boxes, I would say, were in good shape as well. 
Um, you get the occasional clover and, you know, not perfectly manicured yeah. tea boxes. But they were generally flat and generally well kept. I would say so. Um, for this caliber of golf course, I, I was very happy with the conditions all around. And again, I said this at the uh, last uh, course we played. So much fun. So much fun. Now, I, it's difficult to review golf courses when you have a really good day on the course or a really bad day on the course. Because I can tell you that there was a point in the past where we were actually going out to review Shake or Run. Yeah. And I played so badly. I was in such a foul mood that I said, you know what? We're not doing a review today. <laughs> I remember I'm that. not in the mood, and it won't be good for Shaker Run. <laughs> I remember so that. today's the other end of the spectrum. I actually played very well today. And uh, conversely, I enjoyed this golf course a lot. And it's kind of cool. Uh, I mentioned early that the uh, the tees tip out about 6,300, and that's about where we that's usually play from. Where we try to aim for. But we yeah. mixed it up today, and we played from one setup. We played from the white tees, which mm -hmm. are about 6,000, and it was a nice change. I never felt like I had to try and kill my driver. In fact, we didn't hit a lot of drivers today. I didn't hit my driver at all. I don't think on the back nine, maybe once. Yeah, if you for good reason. <laughs> we had some wayward shots early. But, yeah. uh, you know, it's a great opportunity to come out and, you know, not struggle with a really long golf course. And I think that's great for everybody, unless you're like, yeah. you know, a super top tier golfer. Um, if you're average golfers like us, it, I had a really good time today playing from the, the closer tees. It's all about the fun, man. It was. I, I really enjoyed this golf course. And it was more than just my, uh, sure. my decent golf swing today. It's, it's a very fun golf course. It uh, has lots of twists and turns and up and downs and... Uh, the pace of play was really good today, fortunately. There were some twosomes ahead of us, which made for a little bit of a slow round. At least it felt slow, yeah. but in reality, we moved around this golf course pretty quickly. I think the ladies in front of us that stopped after nine helped us go along quicker. They did. I don't know the actual time. It felt like it was probably four and a half, but in reality, yeah. it was probably under four hours. Yeah, I would finished. say it was about four hours. I think we, if yeah. we hadn't had traffic in front of us, we probably could have played this oh. golf course in three and a half. Easily. <laughs> Maybe less. Easily. We were cooking along. It's a very playable golf course. Um, and I noticed one other cool thing. They have lots of sets of tees here. Yeah, they do. So uh, I would say this course may be uh. more than any other I've seen recently caters to a wide range of golfers. In fact, they had some colored tees. I don't know if they were orange or red that are actually well up into the fairway. Yes. So maybe for junior golfers or new golfers. This is a super cool golf course. It is if, a lot of fun. If you're learning to play golf and you're feeling a little bit intimidated by some of the bigger courses, this might be a great place to, to come and out. learn to play and, yeah. and get in some rounds and start feeling a little more confident about your game. Um, it's, it's a fun, cool environment. It is, it's challenging enough. There, yeah, for sure. I mean, holes. Yeah. Um, there, like I said, there are plenty of dog legs, so that oh, automatically yeah. forces you to think your way through this golf course a little bit. Play smart. Uh, we didn't have any crazy breaks on the greens. Uh, they weren't boring by any means, no. but they weren't the same level of sophistication and complexity right. that we saw at Blue Ash with their I green complexes. Um, bunkers are generally more benign here. Right. Uh, greens are a little flatter. Um, there was a lot of undulation in the fairways, though. I did notice that. I noticed that as well. I keep saying this. It made it fun. It did. <laughs> I did. I had a really good time today. Uh, on the would you come back and play it again scale. Yes. I, I would actually Definitely. love to come back and play this again. If I didn't have something else going on later, I would want to play nine more right now. <laughs> the wanna... weather being nice might have something to do with that as well. It was a beautiful day. We had a great time. Everybody yes. here was as nice as could be. So let's talk about a score for this fun golf course. Okay, we've got some comps to compare We do to. have some natural comps. Absolutely. We've uh, reviewed three other Hamilton County Parks golf courses. Mm -hmm. uh, I think the leader in the clubhouse, it's gotta be vineyard. pardon the pun, is the vineyard. Yeah. We gave the vineyard a 7.9. Okay. Uh, next was the uh, Sharon Woods course. We gave Sharon Woods a 7.5. Okay. And, and Miami Whitewater Forest had a 7.0. So we've got them almost uh, full spread in the sevens. Uh, I think I, I want to put this just above Miami. Yeah, I think that uh, this was more fun and a little yeah. nicer than Miami. Yeah. Not quite as good as Sharon or the Vineyard. So I guess if we slot it right in there, it uh, winds up at about a 7.3. 7.3 it is. Sounds like a winner. Congratulations. Mill, 7.3. Uh, we talked to our buddy Mike, who's going to be our first subpar guest. Looking forward uh, to he's that. He's going to be tied up for a couple weeks. So we're going to put uh, Shaker Run on the list for August. And hopefully we'll see you out on a course before then. We've got plenty of other to play. We sure do. All right. Thanks for watching.